Okay, so in a, this weekly Svelte, I'm going to be showing you how to create a package for Svelte using Svelte Kit. We're going to create a package, we're going to publish it to NPM, and then we're going to use it in the Svelte REPL just to prove that it works. This is going to be kind of a no-nonsense. This is going to be really a quick one, and the package that I'm going to be publishing isn't going to be the end result of the package. But just to show you how we can get something up on NPM and working in the Svelte, it's really pretty nice and easy. And then later on, I will move the actual code into this project so that way we can have something that's actually usable. So to give you some context, I like to make a lot of packages for Svelte and Svelte Kit because, well, it makes it nice to be able to share them across your projects. And it's really easy. So the first thing we need to do is npm init svelte at next the exact same way we would any svelte kit project, and then we can give this a name. Now, my new library is going to be called autoform, and you can see as long as I have a hyphen in here, I hit enter, it's going to ask me if I'd like to proceed. I can select yes. Okay, there we go. Create svelte version 2, next 85, you're in beta software. What do we want? We just want a skeleton project. Um, I do want this to be TypeScript. I do want ESLint. I do want Prettier. And there we go. We now have our autoform library. Okay, so we now have a project. Let's change directories into autoform. And here we have autoform, of which we can actually get this up and running in some kind of dev mode. So if we were to do npm run dev, this is going to... Oh, uh, well, uh, I'm sorry. First you do npm install, obviously, and then npm run dev. Okay, so npm install, npm run dev. This is just going to get you up and running with a basic Svelte kit project, of which is the latest version, 0.196. We're not quite at one yet. That's okay. Okay, here we go. Here's our Svelte kit page. Now, what's the difference between a package here and, let's say, the actual Svelte kit type of site because what we have here is a Svelte kit site but how do you make a package from within Svelte kit in fact let me get my code up and running here by just opening this up in vs code there we go okay yes trust whatever so how do we get this going with a typical Svelte kit site when you install Svelte kit you end up having a source folder with routes and the routes are going to be the page keep in mind this could be something like your um, the actual demo or document uh, documentation for your package. If you actually want to make a package, the one thing that we'll want to do is create a new lib folder, which is one of those things that comes in the skeleton project or in the uh, demo project, but not the skeleton. So we make a lib folder and then we go and create our component. So if we say new file, I'm going to have an auto form dot file. And to prove to you that we can just get this up and running, all I want to do for this is do a simple hello auto form, okay? This is just to get this thing up on NPM and into a project on the REPL without letting, you know, that pesky code get in the way. So we have a site here and we have a component which is just simply hello auto form. Let's import this into our site just so we can have a... a you know, example. So we can see that this thing is in fact working as a Svelte component before we run any package stuff. So if we import auto form from auto form .svelte, sorry, this needs to be the letter sign lib auto form .svelte, like this. And then we can just drop this in here is really the only thing auto form like that. So what we should see on our demo site is we should now see hello auto form. So now if we want to turn this into a package, it's relatively simple because all we have to do is run Svelte kit package. Now, Svelte kit package is something you could always add to your package.json, or it could be as easy as doing npx Svelte hyphen kit and then package. That runs the version of Svelte kit that's on NPM just as an executable and uh, you need to install Svelte to TSX and TypeScript if you want to generate type uh, definitions. So that's interesting. So let's just actually do that npm install. I don't remember getting this error before, so 
uh, hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev npm install and they want us to install svelte to tsx as well as typescript i don't think you need i think we already have typescript so there we go let's try this again npx svelte kit package cannot generate a svelte entry point because the dot entry point in exports is missing okay so this is the type of error you're going to hit because what we're dealing with here in modules is that we need in our package.json to define the given areas in which we'll have the ability to import from within this package. So if we want the default import of this package to be that autoform.svelte file, we kind of have to tell that uh, NPM essentially, or in our node modules, that this is going to be the entry point. So like it says in our error message here, because we love reading error messages, cannot change because the dot entry in exports is missing. So how do we do that? What do we do for this? Well, we just have a an object property here named exports, okay? And exports looks like this. And we'll have the dot export, as it says, go to dot forward slash src forward slash lib, forward slash auto, form dot svelte, okay? So this is our default export, so to say. And let's go ahead and now let's try this NPX svelte kit package once more. And you can see that this time it did not give us any mean old errors, nothing to cause any trouble here. What it did do is it generated a folder named package. And this package folder includes the auto form svelte component as well as a generated package.json and even a readme, which is just this readme duplicated and moved, but it includes all the dev dependencies and it created the default export for us as well here. Now you'll see that it also made this autoform.svelte export available to us. That's actually great to have because sometimes you do need to import the svelte component itself. The fact that it, this just makes this available to us automatically is nice. Okay, so we now have a package folder inside of our project. And this package folder is going to be the thing that we want to publish. We want to publish this thing to NPM. Now we don't have to have this up on GitHub to publish this to NPM. So that's not a requirement here. All we need is we need a package version number, which is right here. Again, this is just copied and pasted essentially from the one in the root of our project. So we just need a version number, a project name. In fact, now we'll also want to, I'm, I'm going to change the name in, um, keep in mind that I'm changing the name in the package.json that's in the root of the project. The one that's in the package folder is auto generated and that thing is going to get overwritten. So any changes you make to anything in this package file folder, whatever will get overwritten anytime you run this command npx svelte kit hyphen or svelte hyphen kit package. If you're, if this is the type of thing you're doing frequently, you probably just want to add package to your package.json in your site to run it that way instead of npx, but hey, this is fine right now. So we have our auto form package. It's been packaged up. I'm going to now change directories into the package folder itself. So I'm no longer in the root of our project, but I'm in the package folder. From here, I want to run npm publish, and then we'll want to say hyphen hyphen access public. Now this is not going to work for me as is, and it might not work for you as is either if you haven't already logged in. But I do want to show this is a kind of a common thing that people try. They run npm publish. Oh, <laughs> it looks like I, I am logged in. Now, in the event that you aren't logged into get uh, npm, which is honestly what I, I thought I was not logged into npm, what you'll want to do is head on over to npmjs.com and you'll want to sign up for an account if you haven't already. I have an account. I'm going to sign in and we should be able to see my packages here. Um, let's see. Packages. Oh, sorry. I'm looking at my own personal, not the organization. Here we go. I have a 11 packages here for level up tuts and here it is as auto form. So this package now exists on NPM all because of this one line of, of, npm publish access public. So what we did is we created a, a project using SvelteKit. We then ran the package command after creating our project or creating our component. Then we ran npm publish hyphen hyphen access public. 
And as long as you are logged in to NPM, that will make this thing available on NPM. So the moment of truth is, does this thing work in the Svelte REPL? So let's give that a try. So let's import, import auto form from, and then we'll want to say it's from at level up tuts forward slash auto hyphen form like this. And then now we should be able to drop in this auto form component in here. Let me bump up the font size so it's not just a total mess here. And let's see if this finds it. Cannot load HTTPS auto form dot svelte. Cannot find src lib auto form in level up tuts auto form. So, so this error is to be expected. I kind of wanted to show this, but I also want to show you how we can publish updates to our packages. So this is a good use case for all of that. So we wrote this exports command here or this exports property. And we said, Hey, the default export is going to look at SRC lib auto form. Then when that gets translated into our package.json right here, you can see that it is using the same SRC lib auto form. That's not where, where we want this to be. What we want is to be relative to the package directory, because you can see here, it moved our auto form component into the root of the package directory. And so therefore this package.json that is going to be generated, we need to take into account that the exports for this is not the relative path from the project, but the relative path from the package directory. So if we save this and we try to publish again, it's not going to let us. And I'm going to call that ahead of time. You can see we get a forbidden. Why? Because you already published a version 0.0.1. If this, if you aren't used to publishing NPM packages, that might be a thing that uh, you've never experienced before, right? So what we need to do is do a version two, little minor bump. Now there's a ton of ways to do version bumping in GitHub automatically and stuff like that. We're not diving into those realms today. We're just going to get this thing up and running. And so now that we have this being packaged, what we want to do is change directories to go back to the root of our project, run NPX Svelte kit package once more. This auto updates everything. We'll then go into the package folder and we'll do NPM publish access public. And you can see this time it's going to accept our version two. Now, how do we tell the Svelte REPL that like, hey, actually uh, this package is at a new version now? Now I regret hitting refresh on that. Well, let's go ahead and do import auto form from at level up tuts forward slash. Uh, I think it's auto hyphen form. Okay. And you can see here, it's still trying to access version one and that's fine, but we can specify explicitly a version if we would like. So to do that, you just do it at 0.0.2. Hey, and instantly it finds the right. And you can tell it works because it just says hello auto form. And now we specified and pin the version. If I go ahead and remove this version pin, it, you can see the Svel REPL sometimes doesn't always go for the latest version. And honestly, I don't know what the rules are for when it checks for a new version, but I found if you just tell it explicitly what version you want, that's the easiest way. Now that we have this hello auto form component up on NPM, you can see it works. And even the version updates here every time you run publish. So that's how you publish a package to NPM using Svelte kit. Let's go over the steps all over again. The first thing you need to do is me even. So the first thing we need to do is we need to NPM init Svelte at next project hyphen name. Then we need to change directories into project name. Then we need to do what? We need to create component. Then we'll want to run NPX Svelte hyphen kit package. Then we'll want to CD into the dot package folder or just the package folder, not dot package folder package. We want to change directories into the package folder and then npm publish hyphen hyphen access public. Okay. Those are the steps involved here. Now in between these two steps, you want to log in to npm slash create an account. Okay. So that's really it. Isn't that amazing? In just about no time whatsoever, we created a very 
dumb sort of package, but we created a package and we got it published on NPM and we're able to use it almost instantly inside of the REPL. It's that easy with Svelte Kit. Just take a look at this. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. I hope you enjoyed this one. I've been making a ton of packages and honestly, come back and check out Autoform by the time this library is at 003. Um, there will actually be something here because believe it or not, we have an Autoform library. In fact, this library that um, I created here. Now check back because um, let's actually see. Let's go to packet or... So we'll check back to the Autoform version at 0.0.3 where I actually use the Autoform library that I've been building. This is a fun library. You know, you've seen me post about some libraries I've been building for Svelkit, but this Autoform library is classic kind of what you do is you specify a schema here and then you pass in the schema to be the input here. Then you pass it in a model if you have existing data, and then you just have an action, which is what happens after you run the form and get access to the form data. It's also neat because uh, you can bind data directly with the auto form. So if you need access to the form data itself, you do. And there's some other neat things here too, like really simplified fields. If you just have a string in here as one of your inputs, it assumes that this is going to be a text input with a label of title and a property of title. So a lot of like doing easy things for you, hence the name Autoform, which is also a nod to a Meteor form library that I used to use. Now, one last thing before I go, head on over to leveluptutorials.com and sign up to become a Level Up Pro where you'll get access to all sorts of content, including lots and lots and lots of Svelte content like this as well as our latest course, which is on Astro, where we even use Svelte inside of that course as well. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next weekly Svelte, where we'll be hopefully talking about Autoform or even jQuery, some of these libraries that I've been creating for Svelte and have been using myself like a, just about every single day. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.